Last February, parents in Patterson received an unwelcome graduation announcement. 700 students wouldn't be eligible for a diploma come June. It was because they hadn't passed the park. They hadn't passed any of the other alternative assessment, and we started raising the issue in Patterson. Rosie Grant with the Patterson Education Fund and several other civil rights and advocacy groups have joined a legal challenge against Park, claiming the state's new high school graduation requirements, which include passing the controversial standardized test, violate state law. These new rules contradict the law about high school graduation that was put in place by the legislature and gives important rights to students. That law, passed in 1979, requires an 11th grade English and math test. Park is administered in the 10th. It also requires retesting opportunities. If they had been fully in effect last year, tens of thousands of students in the class of 2016 wouldn't have passed. About half the class, 50 to 60,000, didn't pass Park, putting them at risk of not receiving a high school diploma. So these are also very serious policy issues. Jessica Levin is an attorney with the Education Law Center. They joined with the ACLU to file the suit on behalf of the advocacy groups. Another major problem with the new rules is that they use fee-based substitute competency tests as an alternative to the park exams, and these tests will limit access for low-income students in New Jersey. We fear that our kids will be at a disadvantage. They are already at risk. We are in an area that's concentrated poverty and um, they can't afford the alternate assessments. Fee-based tests like the ACT and SAT can be used as a substitute competency test, but only until 2020. The groups argue it restricts low-income minority students. Many are English language learners. New Jersey has a, the, one of the highest graduation rates in the, in the U.S. 89% of students graduate. When you get to Hisp Hispanic students, it goes down to 82%. When you get down to English language learners, those who English is not their first language, it goes down to 74 percent. So the number drops. And it's that group of people who are at the 74, 72 percent level that, that are most vulnerable and the most impacted by this change. And Christian Estevez with the Latino Action Network says park limits test taking in other languages. Our concern is that this English only approach that the state is taking is going to basically throw thousands of Latino students and other English language learners out of the education pipeline. The State Department of Education says it doesn't comment on pending legal cases. Members have said they expect park scores to improve with each year, arguing it's a better measure of college readiness and skill, especially as the number of students in need of remedial work before beginning college courses continues to grow. In Newark, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.